Okay, now continuing with the same example, but in Python about uh, using parameters in a class, let's now create the package. ROS2 package create build type amend Python amend Python license Apache 2.0 my parameters and the dependencies is RCLPy. Okay, my parameter and inside we will be uh, looking about the package XML. Okay package.csml then if you want to modify the version the description maintainer and so on I will not do anything so I will close it and the next thing that we'll be doing is uh, writing everything about this node in a file by parameters let me see Here, my parameters node dot by, and here we will create the node. I will copy it and paste it here. Uh, let's see, my parameters node is. Um, do I have to change something? Mm -hmm. I think not. Just explaining everything again. We are using RCLPy, importing also node of RCLPy, and we'll make a class named minimal param. This minimal param use the node as a, as a base class and initialize the node as, with the name minimal parameter, minimal param node. We'll declare a parameter named my parameter with the default argument word, set a timer of one second, and uh, if this is elapsed, it will execute this callback. This callback get the parameter of my parameter from uh, the Rust parameter uh, server, let's say it as is, and get the value and convert it to string. Finally, it will print over the log uh, log output, and it will request uh, the, these parameters to set it over again on the parameter server. And again, this thing is simple. We'll initialize the node and spin over the node. And over the we call the main function when we call this node this this thing. Uh, sometime something that I didn't put this is the shebangs, but let's move on. So the next thing what we need to do is to move and modify the setup package of uh, the entry point that we are been trying to load. So let's move again. See. Um, setup dot pi. And here on the console scripts, we will be calling the Python parameter node. That will be equal to my parameters, because this is the package name, dot my param, my param node, I suppose. By params node, by parameters node, by parameters node, okay. Okay, I think they will work. And let's be long run. I wouldn't want the init. Let's build our own. Let's see it. Mm. 
eh, by parameters okay source install ros2 run by parameters by param no let's see if something is broken no let's try to set everything about this uh, parameter over the console let's see ros2 uh, now list to see the nodes that are this is the node ros2 node list and still if you there is no more sorry ros2 param list this node is running and we will be looking about the parameter so we have here minimal param node that use my parameter ros2 param set minimal min param node my parameter and let's say panama and here we'll see panama and return to work now let's uh, modify using a launch file let's stop this so let's create the launch dir make cd uh, source by parameters make dir launch cd launch edit and let's by parameters dot launch dot by let's click eh? by parameters by parameters no dot launch dot by to keep it simple and here we will be copying the launch file again that I have here hold on this uh, here so the package name is by parameters the executable is uh, the executable is by parameters node I think which was the name I always have that problem source by by parameters node okay. okay the name could be anyone let's say by parameters node screen my program let's say panama and um, as in the previous example i will be uh, formatting this as a better structure so this call is, is launch description and the node uh, let's say param node is equal to this thing uh -huh, here up to this i think uh -huh. okay it is Let's format this in a better way. Let's see okay I see okay 
I think everything is formatted. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Let's add the node and return the node description. I think it's pretty uh, neat to read. So that's why I'm formatting it that way. In the other way, probably you will get confused. So I will usually use these things to specify the launch and the and the parameters and so on. Let's now try to close this thing. No, we cannot use this thing. C, 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 D, code com build, select my parameters. Let's see if we have some problems. Probably not. Rust to launch my parameters. Oh, okay, we didn't specify uh, how to import and use the package inside the setup.py, so we have to put it. Here we have to move and see how we can add the folder that get the launch file. So let's put it. We have to import, import OS. And here OS dot join over sure. This is the, where the package is. And the package name. Here we can put the by parameters and globe. We have to from globe import globe. Globe launch here we will be by close here close here no close here mm -hmm. and here I think we're ready let's try to see if we can get again the same thing My parameters by okay you found the launch file let's see if something will be broken by parameters not not found oh because we <laughs> name it by parameter no. here Mm. Oh, sorry. My panel node, and we have to modify it over the uh, where where where. Have a blackout now, right now. I don't remember where. <laughs> oh, okay, in the launch file. No, that's not the launch file. Mm. 
now it will work. And here it goes. Now it is the the node name at the first time of launch Panama and a subsequent uh, executions will print again the work. So if we want to make another uh, simple modification, for example, we have we can add the parameter descriptor. We can do it also. Let's see if we can stop this thing and move to see if we can add the parameter descriptor I have here. Over here, here, I can think from RCL interfaces message import parameter descriptor and we can set here descriptor descriptor description this this is a parameter description, description, sorry. And here, over word, we only put my param descriptor. And everything remain, remain the same. Let's again try to compile everything. Or build everything. And here, when we launch everything, everything goes as expected. We can also change again here to see the param list and set it. The name is five parameters node. And change to Panama, return again. So everything work, working as expected. That finishes the parameters. It's a very useful tool for uh, inputting arguments over the launch files. And also, you can use it with dynamic reconfigure. I think I don't have it installed, but in the future, we will be using NAP2 and and just to move it, we'll be looking at these uh, useful tools. So, thanks for watching. See you.